in the first vlog, I kind of talked about getting in shape and getting healthy and all that stuff. So today I'm actually going to the doctor. It's more of a quick consultation. I have to do a sleep apnea test tonight and I have to go in and to show me how to use the machine and everything else because it's actually a home sleep apnea test. So I get to do it in our house and I have a small window to bring it back tomorrow once I'm done um, so that they can get results. If those results don't work or the home test doesn't work right, then I have to actually go in and do a sleep test in their sleep lab. So hoping this works, hoping I can get the results I need so I have to actually spend a night in there. But again, 2019, the priority is health and I wanna get this sleep thing under control. So let's get going. Got my sleep machine, I'm ready for tonight. I have to put this thing on and sleep at least four hours. Our biggest requirement is have it up and running by midnight. So I'll be going to bed before midnight tonight. I have to. One more stop and then I gotta get back to work. All right, since I have to do that sleep test tonight, I need one, I can only have one more cup of coffee for the rest of the day. Stopping at Starbucks really quick, getting something strong that'll get me through the rest of the day. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. I'm gonna use Daniel to get started for you. Yeah, could I get a quad grande americano, please? Yeah, grande quad americano. Brian, it's go time. Get your head in the game. All you need is printer ink. All you need is printer ink. Nothing else. Even though you want everything, all you need is printer ink. That's it. 2019, willpower for the win. <laughs> it's the first time I've actually just gone in, got what I needed and got out of there. Usually I come out of there with at least something I don't need, but working on it. 2019, it's all about just getting what you need. All right, let's get to work. Getting a ton of work done this afternoon. I'm uploading the vlog for today right now. Day two, vlog two is almost done uploading, so we're on a roll. <laughs> There we go, two in a row. With then going to the doctor and all that stuff today, I found today's takeaway. Today's takeaway is simply this. If something doesn't feel right, don't ignore the symptoms. Don't ignore feelings or your gut. The sooner you know an answer, the sooner you can evaluate and move forward. I would say for me personally, it's probably been within the last six months that I've gotten serious about doctors and that kind of stuff. Like even the dentist. My parents know, and I'm surprised they didn't kill me for saying this, but I actually went to the dentist for the first time back in February of 2018. That was the first time I went to the dentist in 12 years. It's a long time. And I had braces. I went through all this orthodontic stuff. Parents forked out money for it and all that. And we didn't have a ton of money and they worked so, so hard and, and there was pain and there was going to appointments constantly and all these different things just for that smile. I'm not really that full of myself. Point is, they spent a lot of time, there's a lot of effort, there was years. I had braces for like four years. It was like a, it was a four year journey. After I got them off, I just started ignoring it. It's done, it's finished, I have better things to do. But over time, there would be things I'd bite into and I'd be like, ah, I have a toothache or whatever, and I would just ignore it. I'd be like, ah, I'll get over it. And I didn't want to tell anybody because I didn't want, I, I knew what people would say, you need to go see a dentist. Then I started seeing like a physical difference. I started seeing a little browning and that kind of stuff and I was just started becoming a concerning thing for me. I finally went in and I told my dentist straight up, I was like, it's been a while, don't judge me, but we're here, let's find out where we're at and move forward. And he was like, yeah, no judgment. You know, I've seen worse teeth than this. And in my head, I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna have to get dentures and you know, my gums are probably gone and this has destroyed my enamel and all the, I'm thinking about all the coffee and this and that, just all these different things are going through my head about how bad it's gonna be. And I would carry those anxieties with me for no reason. Like, I don't know what it truly is, but I would think about, oh, it's gotta be this or it's gotta be that, it's gotta be this. And if you've ever doctor Googled something, it's always worst case scenario. You drink a glass of cold water and you have sensitive teeth and you feel that sharp pain, but according to Google, that means you're gonna die. Bit the bullet, went in there, got it done, and he's like, actually, you know what? We just 
had to give it a good cleaning, but everything looks really good. I questioned him. I was like, really? Like everything, I said, no cavities, no anything. No, no, nothing goes, well, I can see there's some plaque build up and everything, but it can't be that long. I said, no, it's, it's been about 12 years. And he was blown away. Well, you were extremely lucky and you've done a good job on your own taking care of your teeth. But the lesson of that story is if I just would have gone to the dentist, I wouldn't have had to have all the anxiety of like, oh my gosh, my teeth are gonna fall out or this or that. Your head goes to the worst case scenario. So if there's something lingering over your head that you don't know the answer to, reach out to people, reach out to a professional. Whatever you have to do to get that answer so you know where you stand, get that answer because it's the only way you can evaluate, come up with a plan, and move forward. Otherwise, you're just gonna have a bunch of stress and anxiety that it's stress and anxiety caused by something that's probably not even real. That's it for the vlog today. I have a ton of stuff to accomplish before I go to bed, and I actually have to go to bed early tonight because I have to start that sleep test at a certain time and all that, and then I have to get it back in the morning by 9 a.m. Knock out a bunch of work, dinner, kids in bed, I'm in bed, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you to the new subscribers and all the people commenting. I love reading your comments. I do respond to all the comments, so feel free to leave one, and I might not get back to it right away, but I will get back to it, I promise. Thank you again, and I will see you tomorrow.